Might have to come from the other side to see how pregnant she is. Ready to lay eggs. Let's catch them up. Woo! With catch them all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them all. Guys, this is the coolest stuff I've ever found. And they're audio books that you can listen to like when you're on your way to work, you're just sitting down, maybe doing your chores, doing your homework, whatever you're doing. This one right here, check it out. It just made a new category, especially for fish. I was super shocked when I saw this, so I reached out to them actually, and they decided to help us out at home. So I started checking out the app. They have it available for like every device, iPhone, iPad, Android, uh, even the Google phones, guys. Then I came across the goat of all goats in one of my favorite audio books. How to think like a fish narrated by Jeremy Wade, guys. Listen, King of River Monsters. Take a listen for yourselves, guys. I have the audiobook on my app, but this is a sample for you guys. Listen. That's the thing with cold-blooded animals. Predicting their behavior is not an exact science. Guys, I could listen to Jeremy Wade talk forever. Guys, it's like music to my ears. This is like the legend of all legends. I think I'm doing pretty well with the giants that we have back here that we've caught and the wild and trained to eat out of our hands. But Jeremy Wade, dude. Guys, you can get your first audiobook for free plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash catch em all or only text with your cell phone catch em all to 500 500. Exactly what you see on the screen. So audio.com slash catch em all or text catch em all to 500 500 and you can listen to Jeremy Wade my favorite original or you can play an audiobook for your goldfish that, that apparently will help them be less aggressive when you leave for work it's the funniest thing ever I'm definitely gonna do this experiment with my crawfish and maybe these fish right here behind me honestly I don't have too much free time so when I'm on the go or I'm just sitting out hanging out with my fish and just feeding them I've been turning on audible listening to Jeremy Wade and I'm starting to play the audible originals for my fish it's so cool I think it'll help my fish do better and may maybe make me a better angler listen to Jeremy Wade that's for sure here you go my friends enjoy children enjoy <laughs> guys we have someone in here who's pregnant I'm gonna let you guess who that is so audible has audible originals which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater journalism literature and more but with all these monsters behind me the definite draw for me is this how to think like a fish this is just ridiculous by Jeremy Wade talking but if you guys want it at home guys visit audible.com slash catch them all or just text code catch them all to 500 500 and you'll be listening to the same audiobooks I do all right guys let's find that pregnant girl I I have two types of food for my fish. I have this, this is just koi vibrance, makes everyone happy. It's a, it's a lot softer and a lot smaller pellets for all the smaller fish. I also have this huge like dog food sized pellets for my man Greg Whitstock that are for koi. But the Paku absolutely love them, so check this out. Enjoy my children, enjoy. They're crunching, they're crunching aloud. I gotta get inside this pond though to get out the pregnant girl I think. Where is she? There's a pregnant girl. Oh, she's over here. Come on guys, look at everybody eating. They just love chowing down on that dog food. Food, but look, check it out, check it out. Straight down. You might have to come from the other side to see how pregnant she is. Look at that. Can you guys see her? Where, where'd she go? Oh, she moved. Dude, she is so pregnant, it's insane. She is so, she is so pregnant, it's insane. Excuse me, Peacock. Excuse me, please move over here, I love you. But no, she's gonna break my fingers. But guys, this Playco is actually full of eggs. You can see the way she stands up. She's actually sitting in a weird way right now, so we, we can't really tell, but if we can have Playco babies with this albino, we might have some weird breed that I've never seen before. These are the only two Placos in the entirety of this entire pond. Look, check it out. This thing is 18 feet by nine feet wide, guys. It is absolutely tremendous, which is why we can keep giant fish like King Paku right here and Kelly's new Queen Paku, which is just miraculous. Congratulations again. <laughs> Look how fat this thing is. It is absolutely tremendously, f oh my god, please don't do that. <laughs> what we're trying to do now is get this Queen Paco to eat. I doubt that she'll eat that quickly. Honestly, she was very stressed. I mean, she nearly died the other day. But it's going to take a while, maybe a couple days, because it's such a smart fish. With King Paco's guidance, though, I'm pretty sure that she'll be eating within a week. Also, Jeremy Wade just said in the audiobook about the cold water, and now you see why these fish are eating. Their digestive patterns are a lot different when it's hot water. Mmm, eat up, guys, eat up. I'm really loving these white tilapia, guys. I'm not gonna lie, they're like such a joy to have. They're so personable, but these two are the focus of today's video because we're gonna try to breed them by taking them both to another pond. So first things first, guys, we gotta get these two out. The albino is so beautiful. I would love to have babies of that and be able to maybe just give them to you guys at home. And there's the pregnant girl, check her out. If she lies flat, you'll be able to see how pregnant she is. But I know you guys can see that right now. 
how wide she is compared to the male over here. Just absolutely twice her size. I'm just gonna borrow their pump really quick, just for a second. Turn this bad boy on and throw him in the pool for a minute, just to show you guys exactly how pregnant this thing is. Come on. <laughs> we just need a little bit of water, so. There we go. There you go. Guys, this is the best pump ever. 6,500 gallons per hour. It's debris handling. It's almost instant. Perfect, that's all we need. Whoa! We got Kelly a little wet there. Sorry about that. I hate you. <laughs> Everyone's ready and fine at home. We just scared the pregnant female though. She's right over here. We put the pump on. Look at her. Look how pregnant she is. Look, she's waddling. She can barely move. Just so pregnant. So I'm gonna take them out so you guys can have a better look. Here, straight below. I think I might be able to get her. I just get a little bit lucky. Clay goes a lot faster than you guys might think. Come on. Oh, dang oh. it. <laughs> As you guys can see, I was right about that. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, get it, get it. Oh. Ah. Hurry. Don't want to spook the other fish. Plecos, as you see, can be very avid swimmers. Go, nope. Go, 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 go. Nope. There we go, here we go, here we go. Ah. They pretend to be blind, I swear. Come here. Jeez. Come here. Come here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I might have to get in the pond for this thing because it's really fast. Unless this is it. This is it. Ready? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh, service, service, when... go, 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 no, go, go, go. It's so fast. Yeah. God, this thing is fast. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. my gosh. This is a pregnant female. Come on, Peacock, help me out. Help me out, please. I don't want to stress her out too much. God, that thing is freaking ridiculously fast. I think I might have better luck just go ahead and like stuffing my arm in there and grabbing these fish by leaning over. All right, guys, I'm rolling up my sleeves. Come on, I could really use some Jeremy Wade right now for motivation. Look, she's right here. Look at that. She literally came over here to play. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to sneak on this thing, crawl down as slow as I can. I'm like moving the ladder and I don't know why, but she's still there and so is he. So I'm just gonna try to sneak up and grab him. Oh my goodness. This is not looking good. All right, I'm getting close. Don't run. Don't run. Just stay right there. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not very flexible. Please don't fall. I don't want to fall in. Okay, ready? Here we go. Yes. Don't move, girl. Don't. Ah! Oh, got her. Got her, guys. Oh, got her. <laughs> It was easier grabbing her like that than messing with her with the net. So look how pregnant she is. Check it out. Look at that thing. Look, you see that? You see that little protrusive mouth? Let, like, actually, you know what? Let's get her in the pond and then analyze her later. All right, guys. One fish, one caught. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. So she's in the holding pond. Now I'm going to grab the male. But first, I want to show you. Oh, my goodness. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. So fast, guys, and they're very armor-plated. If you go against the grain on these fish, they're like shark teeth, and they can cut right through your hands. So, come here, come here. Ooh. Relax, relax. She is pregnant. I don't want to stress her out too much, but I definitely want to show you guys this at home. Not, not very many people successfully breed these animals. So check it out. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Check it out. That's how you know if your Placo is pregnant, look how wide this thing is. Yeah. Just tremendously wide. Soft underbelly, and check that out. Oh, wow, check this part out. See, ready to lay eggs, ready to lay eggs. So, this fish is pregnant, and I'm just gonna leave her right here before I transfer her to the other pond. That is a lot longer way down than she was. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, cool. Here we go, come on. Oh, my gosh. Come on, baby. Dun, dun. Spider-Man, catch them all. Oh no, don't run. Ow! 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 Oh. oh, I had him, but he was chopping my hands off. Oh, come back here. Dang it. He swam over there. Come on this way, baby. Come on. Come on. Come back this way. I need you to come to daddy. He's just, just out of reach. Come here. What? Come to me, my child. Come to me. It's his time. 
There we go. Corner him. Corner. Eh. Yeah. 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 Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha, Woo! boy. Gotcha, boy. Woo! That was a lot harder than I thought. All right, guys. Come on. Yeah. All right. Check this thing out, guys. That's why I use a full neck, guys. Perfect. <laughs> Check this thing out. So, I'm going to flip this guy over so you can tell the difference. This is an albino one that we caught in a trap not too long ago. Relax, buddy. Relax. Relax. Here we go. Check it out. See? So you guys can tell, this is much thinner. Much, much thinner. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is much, a much, this is a much thinner animal. Obviously not carrying eggs. So, ow, ow. A lot more spiky. This might be a different species altogether. Whoa. Yeah, he looks a sharp. lot spinier. So spiny. I'm not sure what species this is. I'm going to build them a hole, a mock hole, and I'm going to put these guys in the koi pond to see if we can get some babies out of this. Boom. I have that. This is going to be fine. I think this is going to be awesome. So what Placos do is they dig into the ground a really deep, dark hole, right? So this is just about as long as they would dig into the ground ever. Just wide enough that these things can get in there and lock themselves in. So the female lays her eggs in here, then the male comes and fertilizes them, and the male actually guards the eggs and the babies, the, the fish fry, <laughs> from getting eaten by other predators like the koi in the other pond. It's gonna start raining in just a moment, guys, but what I'm gonna do is I have these two guys right here. First, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this in the other pond. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, guys, and I'm gonna place it down here. It'll sink because it's a heavier plastic than the water. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. All right, cool. That should be good. Check out the openings right over there. So the plate goes can get in there and be able to get out. Shouldn't have any issues with that. And uh, I think we're good to go right now and uh, ready for some Playco babies. Before you release a new fish into your system, make sure that you guys feed your fish first because it just gives them comfort and won't make them attack or be territorial as much to the uh, new species or whatever you're introducing into the pond. So right now I'm just gonna feed these guys really quick. Here you go, here you go, baby. Enjoy, enjoy. So we have our little 10 goldfish that survived because they're a little bit bigger than the other ones. And then we have our uh, six koi and we have our one big butterfly, big one right here <laughs> that's swimming around. So these guys are gonna all eat as I introduce the new Placos to their new home. So I think the best way to transport them would just be to grab them one by one. Here's one, good. If you put your hand on top of them, they seem to like just relax. That's weird, right? <laughs> Look at that thing. Just relaxing completely. So I'm just gonna hold them, hold them right here. So you see this little <laughs> these things are gorgeous, so check it out. Absolutely tremendous. They look so cool. They wet me a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So female, I believe this is a male. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm really hoping. So in the comments below, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a male and I really want these two to breed. So let's go ahead and take them to the pond. <laughs> As you can see, everybody's eating over here, looking good. But I'm going to put these Placo right here. Hopefully they swim into that hole sooner or later. I'm not expecting them to go in there right now. But eventually they're going to find this place. So here's a female. Beautiful. Beautiful. And here is that gorgeous, absolutely tremendously gorgeous male. Amazing. I'm thinking about playing some of the audio books to see if these guys would calm down on their aggression. Especially these koi fish. Freaking ravenous beasts, man, eating goldfish better than all that stuff. Don't forget, guys, if you guys want to get hooked up with the Audible app, all you got to do is go to audible.com slash catch em all or text the code catch em all to 500 500. I, re I really enjoyed this, guys. I'm really hoping for babies, but you never know, guys. You never know. Almost zero people have been successful breeding this species of fish. So I'm really going to try to be different. And, you know, we try our best to learn and do what we got to do here on this channel. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode, learn something new. A shout out to Jeremy Wade. I love you, bro. <laughs> and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all.